on April 15, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai kindly reserved time from her intensive meditation retreat for the sake of our world to again call the Supreme Master Television team members and read from a treasury of Jewish folklore compiled by Nguyen Up. Two stories were graciously translated by Master, the Ten Commandments and Moses and the Ants, in which valued lessons such as the power of collective karma were illustrated. As a start to the conference, questions from team members were benevolently answered by our cherished Master. Um, master, in recent yeah. news, there is some speculation of government contact with aliens or a galactic federation. Also, uh -huh. there have been increased reportings of UFOs. It seems uh -huh. maybe, are they wanting to tell us something? Does Master know what they want to tell us? Oh, yeah, they've been telling us for ages already. They have been telling us since forever. Uh, uh, I probably have written it. Their message is like this. The first paper I wrote is... Uh, do not form zealous, negative, destructive, warlike energy around your world. And the second piece of paper that I noticed says, not zealously destroy world, uh, peace world lives. I guess they mean don't blindly destroy your world. Must make peace in the world and don't destroy lives. You know, their messages are short. And the third paper is saying, not kill your worst lives. And the fourth piece of paper I have here is, not destroy your life. Okay, from the first to this uh, fourth piece of paper, all from same planet Mars. And, and now from uh, Venus, uh, first one, not destroy your world. The second message, not to kill beings. And the third message, not destroy your world's lives. That's it, from Mars and from Venus. The first uh, four messages are from Mars. And uh, the three later messages are from Venus. They have more, of course, but almost similar all the time. So I just uh, noted down these are seven messages. Master, recently scientists have released polarized pictures of the M87 black hole showing mm. its magnetic fields which look like golden stripes or rings. Mm. Dr. Andrew Chael, a member of the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration team, said, the newly published polarized images are key to understanding how the magnetic field allows the black hole to eat matter and launch powerful jets. Mm -hmm. Could Master tell us what is the meaning of these magnetic fields of the black hole? The golden stripe is the new stuff. Well, not quite new, but they were only uh, discovered recently. That is a stripe. Actually, it's more extra reinforced. This is the, the, the rescue road for the souls from hell. Wow. wow. It's a rescue arena. A special magnetic field uh, to rescue and to help those uh, in hell, okay? Mm. Without that, nobody escapes. No, nothing can escape the black hole force, okay? Mm. Wow. Whatever goes in there, it just stays in there. So there has to be this uh, balance uh, ring, half of the ring or the stripe, halfway to counterbalance the, the, the force of the black hole, because the black hole is hell. Yeah. Yes. yeah, and whoever makes trouble, even a big star or big planet nearby, uh, it will swallow it up if that planet doesn't have enough uh, counter power, like enough merit, enough virtues, yeah, to counter the force of this uh, monster that keeps eating everything possible nearby. We have more than one black hole, that's a problem. Yeah. Everywhere, standing by to, you know, suck in anything that that is has similar energy. 
to the black hole. When beings inside a star or inside a planet have been doing so many things that are not uh, very uh, morally noble and just, then the energy of that star or that planet will grow uh, more and more similar to the black hole energy, and then like attract like, and then the the black hole will claim it as its own. Wow. This very scary thing. No need to talk about karma or the Buddhist teaching. <laughs> Nothing. You can see it by scientific evidence and proof. It's just that the scientists probably don't know that the black hole is a force of darkness, of hell. Yes, and probably they have not discovered that whatever the planet or the star that has similar energy to the black hole, that will be eaten up, shredded, and swallowed up by the black hole. That probably the scientists cannot prove by physical means. Yes, Master. Only the developed uh, spiritual person can know all this. Right. Because nobody explained this before to anybody. Yes. 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 yes, Master. You are the first ones to hear this in the whole universe. <laughs> uh, Master, in uh, recent news, there is um, a report about a natural phenomenon in Australia where there is a lake that sometimes creates an image of the tree of life. Um, it happens when mm. nearby tea trees release their oil into the water, making it dark, uh -huh. and the, the lake's drainage channels create a shape that resembles uh -huh. a huge tree of life. Um, there are some really beautiful photos taken and shared on social media. Master, do you know what the meaning of this natural phenomenon is? You see, every tree, uh, most of the trees have some deities that live with the tree and become the spirit of the tree or the tree spirit. So these uh, tea trees, they have deities, and these deities are very benevolent. He is using his power, as much power as he has, to draw this tree on the lake using the, the oil of the tea tree. To draw it like that, you can see it's a phenomenon. It's not like a natural thing that the tea tree just oozes out the tree oil and then it becomes so perfectly drawn like a painting in, in explicit yes. detail. Yes. So this is to keep warning us. Oh yeah, I have here the tea tree's deity draws uh, in the water the tree of life to remind humans not to destroy ourselves. And I say it here, genius idea. <laughs> I praise the tree deity for the genius idea. Of course, the tree of life symbolizes life, and uh, the deity wants to remind us that we do not destroy life. Because if we destroy other life, then we destroy our own life also. If we destroy trees, which give us oxygen and shade and and holding the soil together so that it will not be washed away, and so many things that the tree can do. And if we keep cutting them just to raise the animals, and then we kill the animals as well, then our life will be at stake also. Yes. <laughs> Most of the humans do not hear the trees, do not hear the, the deities around us who are always trying to tell us things, even animals. Whenever I have time to sit down and think of humans, I think we are deaf, blind, and dumb. We don't know anything, and we look down upon the animals who are so intelligent, so in, inside, so connected with the divine. Yes, yes. Even trees have to ooze out whatever oil they have to teach humans to be better stewards of the planet, not to kill lives, not to destroy uh, environment or other animals, because that means we're killing ourselves. 
we say something. Yeah, remind human not to destroy our ourselves. Yeah. That's why he drew the tree of life. You see, so perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes, Master. Yeah. More perfect and precise, more than what we do even with the pen. Incredible. So perfect, like like done by a computer. Hmm? So detailed, so perfect in every little stroke. So it means exactly that. Do not destroy life. We cut trees, we kill animals, all these are destroying activities to ourselves. The price of the food has never been so high because we have in food shortage. Because we destroy natural environments and kill bees by insecticides and also the pandemic right now. You know, one thing leads to another. Everything is, seems like pounding on humans' uh, existence right now. Truly want to destroy humans. So even I work with the heavens to, to put the, that uh, rescue area there, like a refugee camp outside of the black hole. Understand? That's for the hell beings, whoever can. Just one split nano of the second. Remember God. Or remember the saints, or or repenting, or calling for help. Then we can use that uh, raft, yeah, to take them up wow. to that area. And then slowly, of course, we bring them up to higher area heavens. Karma is a scary thing. I don't wish for anybody to come back to this life ever, ever again. I wish my best in the heart, the best in my heart wish is that everybody is liberated from this shadow world. That's what I want. Nothing else I want. Nothing else I wish for. I told heaven, even if I have to be punished, and stay all alone here or in hell somewhere, but everyone else, including all the animals, are liberated. I'm more than infinite times willing to do it. And heavens know that. And you are my witness. Most merciful Master, no words can describe how deeply your heart's wish touches our hearts, humbling us before your unfathomable compassion and love for all beings. Our prayers are for the speedy awakening of fellow earthlings as we all unite in the urgency of achieving a vegan world filled with true nobility and kindness. May Master be always shielded by the mighty goddesses and all high heavens while staying in the best of health and tranquility. For the full broadcast of this conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date. <laughs>